Welcome to this chapter. Today we will explore the Azure's free account and how it's the perfect way to start learning about Azure's vast array of services. If you are new to Azure, this is the ideal first step. Azure offers a free account that allows you to create and use services without any cost. This account gives you the access to popular services free of 12 months and including 200 US dollar of free Azure credits to explore services that are that are not included in the free tier. Let's break this down. When you create an Azure free account, you will get access to free services an entire year. You will also receive 200 US dollar worth of credit that can be used within the first 30 days for services that are not included in the free tier. For example, if you are a user service that is not free, the cost will be deducted from your 200 credits. During this time, you won't need to pay anything out of pocket. Once the credit is exists or the 13 days are up, you will be prompted to switch to a pay as you go account. And also you can see the advantage of free products, Azure virtual machines for window, Linux, Azure SQL databases, Azure blob storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure app services, Azure function and much more. Let's answer some common questions. First one is, who is eligible for Azure free account? It's available to anyone who has not used an Azure free account before. However, you can only create one free account per customer. And then next one is, how long does the 200 US dollar credit last? The credit is valid for 30 days. After that, or once the credit is used up, you will need to convert to pay as you go subscription to continue using the services. And don't worry, if your credit runs out, you will get a notification to convert your account even after switching to pay as you go. You will be only be charged for the services you actually use. And also you can see here the FAQs, you can read them. And here's what you will need to sign up for the free account, a Microsoft account or a GitHub account, both of which are free to create, a phone number for verification and a credit card or debit card. This is not used to charge you, but for identity, Verification purposes. Azure also provides detailed FAQs to help you understand the process better. It's worth reading through this to clarify any doubts about the 200 credits, the 12 months free services, and account setup. So, to wrap up, creating an Azure free account is the best way to get started with the Azure. It's a cost effective, straightforward, and gives you the opportunity to explore Azure service at your own pace. And welcome to this chapter where we will talk through the process of creating an Azure free account. This step by step guide will help you to get started with the Azure and enjoy its $200 worth of free credits for the first 30 days. To begin, I will navigate to the Azure home page and click on the try Azure free button. To proceed, you will need a Microsoft account. If you don't already have one, don't worry, you can create one easily. Now that my Microsoft account is already created, so I will enter the required details for my Azure free account. This includes my first name, last name, email, and phone number, etc. And Azure requires phone number verification as a part of the process. And you will choose the option to receive a text or a call for a verification code. Enter the verification code and click to the verify. Next, you need to provide a address and state. Then scroll down and agree the customer agreements. If you would like, you can explore other optional settings before the proceeding, then click to the next. Azure requires identity verification through a credit card or a debit card. Don't worry, this is just a temporary authorization to confirm your identity. You won't be charged unless you switch to pay as you go pricing. You will enter card details, scroll down and click sign up to create your account. Now, I am not creating any account because I have already created an account. Now for most of you, you will be directed to your Azure free account with the 200 US dollar credits. And I will be proceed with creating as a pay as you go subscription with charge based on users because my limit is already exit. On the final screen, click to the sign up button. Then Azure provides an option to set up multi-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security to your account. I will be suggesting this quickly by choosing the email verification option. You will be receive a security code via email and copy it and paste it and click to the verify. 
and that's it you will be redirect to your azure account for most of you this account will come with 200 us dollar in a free credit which you can use over the first 30 days to explore azure services this concludes our work to on creating an azure free account in the next chapter we will dive deeper into azure services and how to start utilizing them effectively